Hi, it's Robin. December 18th, Thursday night. I haven't been on in a while, so I thought I would say hi before Christmas. And uh, I was part of Aaron uh, Gimme Yarn 418's Secret Santa and Zoe. Um, I'm no Zoe. Zoe of 24 Karat Crochet was my Secret Santa, and she sent me a set, a hat and scarf set. Beautiful from J, um, J.C. Brett, James C. Brett. I'm sorry, James C. Brett. It's beautiful, it's nice and soft, and fits great. She also bought me this Cheap Laughs. Um, she said it's uh, British humor. She thought I would like it, it's very nice. And um, she got me that. She also bought me a pound of the Marks and Spencer coffee, which is absolutely delicious. The F and I really like it. And a package of extremely chocolatey dark chocolate rounds, which there's only two left. One for me, one for the BF. These are delicious. It is exactly what it says. It's mostly chocolate, not a lot of biscuit. It and it's dark chocolate. It is very very delicious and last but not least a skein of J James C. Brett Marble Chunky I love it cannot wait cannot wait I was thinking of a pair of um, fingerless mitts maybe or um, a tea cozy because I'm going to be doing the tea cozy along with um, Tilly Trout and I watch her every week or every time she puts up a video if you do not watch Tilly Trout you are definitely missing out she is wonderful she is a wonderful um, vlogger um, very down to earth very uh, just very personable she's very very nice and um, her are uh, um, the the forum and Ravelry is it, the, all the people there are so nice and uh, the inspiration and the encouragement and the chat and anyway she's doing a tea cozy along it starts uh, I think it's January 12th I think I've got my pattern um, and it was I, I so wanted to copy um, she had a picture of um, it was Starsky and Hutch. It was a white cardigan around a, tea, a teapot. And it's like, I think two or three women, others are already doing it or else I would do that because I just think that's so funny. And I used to love to watch Starsky and Hutch. But um, there's a, um, it's a spring garden, I think it is. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But I think I'm going to do that one. I've, I have to get some some yarn because this is too dark. This would be the right um, texture. It's supposed to be a ch uh, chunky for the actual um, cozy part of it in the pattern, uh, but I need light. And the one and the wool that actually the um, designer used was Lincraft Big Wool from Australia, and they don't make that anymore, of course. So I've got to try to find something comparable. I think I did find something at. Um, Oh my goodness. And I, I think I wrote it down. It was Harps and Thistles. It's in Ohio. Um, the BF and I may be making a um, road trip this weekend. Not sure yet. It depends because of the craziness. So that was the Secret Santa. It was wonderful. And um, that was great. And the last time I, uh, I vlogged, I, was, I showed a couple of um, project bags that I had sewn because I um, didn't have the money to to spend um, you know and I, I used to quilt quite a lot and I have tons 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 of material um, it is quilting material uh, but I didn't know how to put in a zipper and I learned I, sh I learned I taught myself how to put in a zipper and I had made I had showed one or two well, the dog got a hold of one, so I made another one. This was my next one. It has a zipper, and it's a bigger one. This is for the sweater. This has my um, last month's yarn box and um, wool in it, and I'm going to make 
a my first raglan my first raglan pullover with it so that's its home and this Like I said, it's fully lined, no holes, but there's no tabs on it to hold it, you know? So I was still learning. Then I, after my, when I go in, I go in spurts, I guess, and I was going to try to sew some clothes. I'm sorry, sew some clothes. And I had started with a green velvet. I love velvet. I always did love velvet. I was going to make a, a green velvet skirt for church. And, um, well, one thing led to another and it didn't work out. And I've gained, I've gained a, a, a pretty sizable amount of weight. So there's no way this is ever going to fit, but watched another video by Whitney sews and made myself a drawstring bag. And so I used, reused it and it's fully lined. It has green, lining in it and this houses my almost finished whip this is going to be either for my daughter or my daughter-in-law my daughter-in-law is going out to see her sister in California we live in Ohio and she's going out to see her sister over um, the new year and uh, it's, it's nice out there and I was you know but then again my daughter really likes blacks and grays and so it's a spiral, it's the spiral um, pattern by uh, Very Pink Knits, Stacy Perry. That was her free pattern. And um, so this was my first attempt at doing this type, you know, the spiral stuff. And uh, it's very easy, very easy. And thank goodness it's only a one skein, one skein wonder because it's sort of boring. I'm glad I'm almost done. And I am almost done. I'll be done with it by Christmas. I just got to figure out who I'm going to give it to. So then, still scouring the what um, the YouTube sites for uh, project bags. And, um, you know, I wanted to get better at doing it. I found I Heart Sewing or I Heart Stitching. Her name is Melanie. No, Melissa. Oh, and I hate when people do that. I don't know. She has long blonde hair and she's very personable. So she had a video on how to make boxy bags. See the tags? Got tags this time. And double sewn. So she said it looks more professional and it does. This is the bottom. This is part of my quilting material. There was only enough to do the, the big pro, the big bag. And this is for my daughter-in-law, fully lined. And this is the smaller, like makeup case if she wants, or, you know, it can be whatever she wants it for. So, but this is for my daughter-in-law and it goes with that. And I just love this material. I just did not have enough for a quilt. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I, I like Oriental. Um, this is for my granddaughter. It's a, and it's super, um, super colorful, just like she is. And, you know, it's basically the same pattern. Um, you know, I don't know what she used for it. It's fully lined. And then it has its own little baby one inside. And... This is for my sister, and this is the project bag because she is starting to knit and crochet, and she has two cats and a pit bull dog that has sheds and there's hair everywhere. She could be. She gave me a a couple skeins of yarn, and there was cat hair everywhere on it. But this material was the backing of the quilt, the last quilt I made. This was her quilt. And the, this is the backing. And then on the inside is orangish. This is oriental. This is the little one, the notions bag. And it's really roomy. When I made mine, I could fit, um, 
I could fit three or two, four skeins uh, or balls, small balls, 50 grams of yarn and my needles and the pattern in it. I was, uh, I had the BF's um, socks that I was started to make in, in my new carbons needles. The dog, and I was telling the BF, I said, you know, these are, these are indestructible because he asked why I got the metal or the, you know, that kind. It's like, oh, they're almost indest they're indestructible, like the wooden ones. They say they will they will just snap. And I've never had a pair of clover wooden DPN snap on me, but they said that they do. So anyway, the dog got a hold of it, and boy, are they destructible because he made short work of these DPNs. And but BF was so nice for my Christmas gift. He gave me the money, and I'm going to go buy a new set. So, And, then, of course, I have to make a new bag for myself because... I don't have a bag. So here is this month's yarn box. I figure I do an unboxing. So sort of exciting. Look forward to this. Here's the um this is winter winds. In Midwest U.S., we have snow on the ground long before December. The month making the end of each year is cold, frosty, and bitter, and many of us take solace and refuge indoors where we'll be cozy and warm. Nothing is better than curling up with a cup of warm tea, a roaring fire, and some wool yarn, so we made sure you'd be equipped properly by sending you some of our favorites. Titus, a heritage wool blend from Ba Ram U in Leeds, England. Is truly special. This blend of Wen Wensleydale and Blue Face Lester wools, softened with a touch of alpaca, is produced entirely in the UK, UK with 350 yards per skein and a hand that softens with age. We know those of you who love fingering weight yarns will embrace the texture and character of this one. For members who prefer heavier weights, we provided a thin. Thick and thin, lofty single, DK weight one and five by fiber story, dyed beautiful ma mottled tones. You're sure to adore. Um, so that's what, and then of course it comes with, you know, hemp stitch gives you a, a, a new stitch to learn. And this is yarn box presents Denise Vaudive. Oops. And etched ice. I guess this is the free pattern that I can download. So, and here's another pattern. Um, winter, winter deep. So here we go. It's beige. I don't like beige at all. Wow. This is the Titus. Um, this is 70% British wool, 30% UK alpaca. And it's 350 yards per skein. And it's fingering weight, so. So, I'm um, getting ready for the holiday. Uh, I have to um, wrap this weekend and make some bows. I've been watching uh, how to make your own bows. And I did, I actually made some the year before, and this woman had a, a wooden, well, of course, she was selling 
um, you were supposed to buy what she made. It was a big plank of wood and it had mo removable dowels or whatever. And then you wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. And, um, yeah, no, I made my own. I had, I got a big police, um, me and the BFI, um, he cut me down a big, pst, I think it was a one by, no, it was a two by, two by six. And then uh, we hammered, you know, the, the nails were, it, and it worked, it worked very nicely, but I can't find that video now. I didn't save it in my favorites, or if I did, it got lost. I don't know. So, um, I got to watch another couple videos on how to make bows because I, I bought a bunch of ribbon. Um, when I, when I get in these tangents, you know, then I, I buy, I buy way, way too much stuff. And, um, so I'm going to make, make some bows this weekend. Um, I have a Amigurumi elephant by Sharon Ohala started. It's supposed to be for my mother for Christmas, but that's not going to happen. Um, I just got its head made and, um, I had started a bakery bear for her and she said, Oh yeah, and by the way, I want an elephant. And she didn't know I was making the bakery bear because I have the head made. I have the um, I have the head, the ears, the nose made. All I needed, you know, was to make the the body and the arms and legs. And then she said I wanted an elephant. So, um, so I got like halfway, I got the head of the elephant done. I was like halfway down its body and then I miscounted somewhere. And with Amigurumi, if you miscount, you really need to be able to, you know, count. And I can't apparently, or I messed that up. So I had to tear it all back out and I haven't really touched it since. Um, I've been sewing. I really was like really going to town on the sewing stuff. I, um, have some black velvet material up there that it's I don't have enough for anything and but it's going to be a project bag I have some gold um like model modeled uh um material that's going to be on the inside and I have a um I have some gold rat tail um, cord that I'm it's going to be a drawstring bag I'm not sure how um, I'm not sure how hard it would be trying to put a zipper in a um, in velvet because uh, it's not really all that wonderful to try to sew with because it it's so slippery. But um, anyway, we'll try. We'll see what happens. Um, that's about it. I don't have anything else to show. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and hope everybody stays healthy and you have a very prosperous New Year. Bye.